Happy Friday. Uh, I'm going to show you how to create a column in Revit with just the click of a button. We go over to Revit and the button, and boom, we get a column in the middle of our project. All right. Okay. Go over and get out of it. Over to this guy. Okay, so new project, right? First things first, head over to app. And make sure everything's in line. So, okay, column tutorial. Let's go ahead and place our button names. And gonna bring in bitmap. There we go. And then create column tutorial button. All right. Okay. And then we're going to go down and make sure the button is named. Yep, mine is Corvette because that's just what I Googled first. <laughs> All right. And we'll get on that. My test tab. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Okay, cool. Next, we're going to go over to add ins. We're going to comment out the command because we don't want it to be an external command, we want it to be a button. Alright, and then we're going to head over to command, and here we go. Get rid of that guy. Okay, first things first, so we're going to. Uh, yeah, we're going to first set the origin for the column, right? So it's just going to be uh, X, Y, Z. You saw how we did that in our create wall class. Column origin, and then sorry, all the other steps first. Okay, so we're gonna create column origin. We're gonna grab all levels, and then we're gonna grab the first level in list in level list collections. Then we're going to get columns. In the project, and then we're going to get the first column from list or from collection. Okay, and then we're going to in our try catch. Let's we're going to need to activate column. I tried doing it without activating and it kept on getting errors about it not being activated, so we're going to do that. And then we're going to create column. Oops. And then, of course, in here we're going to show dialog if error, right? So just heads up, uh, so we need to load in a column before we place it, right? So we're going to do that part manually, and then I'll do another tutorial on how to load in families. Okay. All right. So first one's first. Let's get it. So X, Y, Z. And then we're going to do origin is equal to... And then we're going to set it to 15, 0, 0 because we want to put pop up in the middle of the project. Okay. Then we're going to go to grab all levels. So it's going to be filtered. Column collector. 
I'm going to call this one coal levels. It's equal to here, filtered element collector. Stuff in the document where element is not element type. Dot of category. Built in category dot invalid dot of class type of and level. Oops. Okay. All right. Now we're going to grab the first level and the coal levels. Uh, so it's going to be level, first level, so equal to coal levels dot first element as level. Okay, and then we're going to get all the columns, so we're just going to copy this guy. Oops. Let me call it full columns. And then of type built in category dot columns. Oops. Dot O O S T. A small little error. So this is what we needed to have. I had of class and then of class again down here, so that was the error. Okay, so now we're gonna go back and we're gonna get the first column. So it's gonna be family symbol. Symbol. First column is equal to full columns. Dot first. Great. And that was going to be as a family symbol. Because usually it tries to cast it as an element, so it can be kind of an error and give you issues. So we're going to cast it as a family symbol. Okay, great. All right. On the transaction. Almost done. So here we're going to activate it. So it's going to be if first column dot is active, then first column dot activate. So just a heads up. Uh, so exclamation point is the same thing as me doing. Uh, it'd be like first column dot is active is equal to null or sorry is equal to false basically okay so that this is the same thing as this more or less okay this is just smaller or shorter I guess less typing so all right finally uh, so we're going to do doc, doc create. All right, and so this one's going to ask for, sorry, doc, doc create new family instance. All right, now we're looking for the, so here it goes, it tells you where it wants, what it wants, right? So we're looking for the origin for the location. We're placing the first column there or sorry, the first family that we find, and we're going to place it on the first level that we selected for our list. And then it's going to be, oops, and it's going to be that, exactly that. Great. And then it's going to ask for dot column. Okay. And then close that off. Right. And then finally we're going to do our error check. 
So it is going to throw up an error when we first try to place it because we are not going to have the family loaded, but once we load, them, load the column manually, then it should work. Okay. So we're going to do... Task dialog. D is equal to new. Task dialog. I'm just going to call it error. And then dot title equal to error. Allow cancellation. Yep. And stuff. And this one's we're gonna do uh, to dot main instruction. That's just going to be error again. And then td dot content. Sorry, main content. That's going to be what we're going to say. Uh, error again. And then we're going to do plus uh, e dot message. So whatever the error was is going to show up, right? And then buttons, it's just we're just going to have td.common buttons uh, equal to task task dialog common buttons dot close. Okay. And then after that, we're just going to do uh, td.show. Alright, and that should work. So let's give it a shot. And starting up, we'll get back to when it loads. Finally loaded. Okay, here we are. And we're going to get this error first because we haven't loaded in the column. Okay, so object reference is not set to an instance of an object. Okay, and then we need to go to insert load family. And then we're going to go to columns and select whichever column we want. And just load it in. And then we're going to go to hit the button. And it's there. All right. Thanks guys for tuning in. Um, again, please like and subscribe if you like the content. If not, please let me know what more you'd like to see. Uh, the next tutorial is probably going to be how to load a family. Uh, let's see. Other ones on the docket are Let's see what's coming up. Uh, see how to create wall types, how to create sheets, um, drafting views, how to place detail to detail components in drafting views, and some other stuff. All right, cool. All right. See you guys next time.